Hi, this is Eugene from iFixSmartphone.com. Um, today I wanted to show you how Face ID True Depth camera can be fixed without soldering. Uh, there's a new tool out there that can just program the uh, True Depth camera with a little uh, adapter to make the uh, Face ID to work. As you can see here, there's an iPhone 11 Pro Max that has a True Depth camera problem. Uh, as soon as you go into the uh, Face ID program, it says problem has been detected with a true camera. Usually, could it be caused by the drop or could be a moisture damage. But it, before, it cost a lot of money to fix. But now we got this tool co from Amazing called GH01 that enables to program the uh, actual true depth camera without soldering it. And I'll show you how to do that. So all you do is we have to take the true depth camera out of the phone and uh, we need to assemble the phone in order to get the phone turned on and connected to the computer. So we put that on side and we get this true depth camera module connected to this uh, programmer. So make sure the, uh, you find the right flex of the true depth camera. Let me connect that to the uh, <coughs> its location. Then you uh, op open up the program on your PC and you actually test that to see if there's any error. And from there, you can see right away it's SDBA all shows abnormal. So, indicating there is a problem with the true depth camera. Because if it's working true depth camera, you do see that all as normal. So, there's a definite problem. So, uh, this machine enables us to fix that before we have to you know, take the true depth camera apart and do the jumpers and move the IC and do all that heavy soldering, but not anymore. So what we do is we connect the phone, make sure the phone is connected, the, all of the actual, the same phone is connected to the same program, and you read the value, and you do a cloud backup <coughs> to save the data. This, that is a very important step. So you save the data to the cloud. So once you have that, then you actually move on to the next step by the um, getting the uh, programmer makes the uh, true depth camera to work with a new Tegon flex so what we have is we have this uh, 90 volt adapter the power adapter which injects the power to blow the MOSFET of the true depth camera so you press the activation button says HV power erasing wait to complete it takes time to <coughs> making that and so check complete so it has been bypassed so with from this stage here it's not gonna work by itself so you need to have a uh, tag on flex to work so <coughs> you get the tag on flex attached and you read that cloud uh, data to the tag on flex then you attach that tag on flex to the true camera Once you complete the uh, attaching the tag on flex and you put that on the programmer and test it again and as you can see now it says everything is normal. So this is uh, a guarantee that face ID will work. So I got the face ID, the truth camera installed back on the phone 
you start the phone and you can see in the setting now it's not gonna say uh, there's an error with the true death camera anymore you can you go to the face ID and there's no error anymore now you can actually set up on face ID so screen starts showing the uh, setup mode you can see your face phone detects your face now you're programming it first scan second scan there we go so the face ID has been fixed so uh, this is much less intrusive uh, repair and this is guaranteed to work if the uh, programmer shows that messages so you can actually get this tool and fix it yourself and you, you don't want to invest all the money not really sure how to do it then you can certainly reach us to fix that for you you can reach us through the uh, ifixsmartphone.com or send us an email info at ifixsmartphone.com thanks for watching